All right, so let's talk about primary trade lines. Now, a lot of people have been discussing primary trade lines for the longest time, but today I think it's important that I put my spill on this because it's been a while we haven't really touched that subject. So what exactly are primary trade lines? How do you get them? And more specifically, where do you find them? See, a lot of people have the wrong questions when it comes to primary trade lines. They do all the wrong things to get the primary trade lines, and then they mess up their credit profiles. They even add authorized users even before understanding the simplicity of getting primary trade lines. So in this video, I'm gonna break down step by step what are some of the ways that you can find the right primary trade lines for your credit profile, as well as some of the strategies that you can follow in order to make sure that they stack up really well to give you the best outcome in terms of your credit report. And most importantly, by the end of this video, you'll be able to find your own very easy to search primary trade lines within your local communities. Let's get you started right after this intro. Okay, so let's start with a very serious question. This question is, when is it the right time to start getting the primary trade lines in your credit reports? What are some of the difficulties of getting those primary trade lines? And what are the first steps prior to even thinking about primary trade lines? So today, let me address that for you. Number one, let's address the elephant in the room. When it comes to credit, the first and most obvious thing you need to do is to make sure your credit report is clean. If you don't have a clean credit report, your primary trade lines are rendered useless. Now, mind you, there are a lot of primary trade lines out there that you can apply for and get that don't necessarily need a good credit qualification. But here's the issue. We know that payment history is a good portion of your credit report. So if you're getting primaries and you still have negatives in your credit report, you're basically counterproductive towards the whole purpose of building that credit. So isn't it easier if you were to just get the primary trade line as soon as you cleaned up your credit reports to make it more smoother and let it flow properly? And if that's the case, then stick around because I want you to listen to some of the strategies that I'm about to share with you. First, make sure you clean up your credit report. That's a given, right? There's a lot of strategies out there. I even talk about it in my channel all throughout. Uh, I'm going to ask you a favor. Go check out those videos. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video so you can go look at them. Some of the strategies to remove the negative accounts from your credit reports. And if you're looking for more advanced stuff, consider taking the Ultimate Personal Credit Mastery 2.0. It's also in the description. Now, let's get started. Right? Where do you find these primary trade lines? What are some of the essentials? We've all heard of these basic ones that we're gonna go through. So I'm gonna jump into the computer and guide you on that one so you can go step by step with me on how to apply for these type of trade lines, what are the requirements, and what are the ways that you can actually search for your very own primary trade lines and apply for them as well. Let's get into the computer now. We'll start with non-essentials first. As you're familiar with these ones, let's review them together once again to refresh. First off, we have My Jewelers Club. This is a popular one for those who are on the path to rebuild credit. The application process is fairly simple and you'll need $100 to start. On top of that, you'll need to buy something. Obviously not a lot of stuff here is attractive, but again, the purpose here is to reestablish and build credit. So go ahead and order this something that you like on the store and start building your credit with My Jewelers Club. Next up, you have the New Coast Direct. Head over to newcoastdirect.com. This is yet another primary supplier that you can get credit with. Simply head over to the website and apply. There's a series of different categories that you can order from, so shop around and look into it. Typically, you'll get approved for a decent credit line here as well. Again, our aim is to establish credit, so so far we'd have to. We'd have the My Jewelers Club and New Coast Direct. When you click on Apply Now, you'll be directed to a page in order to stop your application process. Now, before you begin and before you head over to applying with New Coast Direct, keep in mind that there's a minimum $95 application fee and you'll need a minimum order of $100 to get it working. So just keep that in mind when you're applying at New Coast Direct. Now we're on to our third one. This is Self Lender, also known as Self.Inc. That's their website, Self.Inc. This is a great program. They've got a nice product. Essentially, you'll be saving a dedicated amount each month for a period of 12 months. Once done, not only do you get your money back, but you'll earn a bit of interest in the process. The starting point is usually about $100 each month minimum that you'll be saving for a minimum of 12 months. This idea will help you not only build financial discipline towards a saving strategy, but also help you reestablish and enhance your personal credit, giving you access to basically a nice non-essential trade line. So let's look at a secured non-essential account now, which would be OpenSky credit card. The OpenSky Secured Credit Card. 
This is another great product. You can start with OpenSky with a secure deposit and use the credit card for minimal expenses that you would pay cash otherwise for. Ideal the situations would be for example if you're gassing up your car, getting groceries or even paying your phone bill. Just one important note though, there's a 3% transaction fee for every purchase. So yeah, you have to be slightly more careful than normal. Uh, but it's well worth the building of your credit because at the end of the day, you are getting a revolving credit here and it's just yet another great product. So let's go to another interesting non-essential primary trade line source. And I'm sure you guys will love this one. This is called Care Credit. Head over to carecredit.com. This is one of those who want to spend in medical or healthcare related expenses. It can be used for universally any healthcare related expenses such as a doctor's visit, dentist, PA, and so on and so forth. You actually have a huge list of things that you can do right here at the bottom of the website. More importantly, be sure to pay attention to the promotional rates and terms that may they offer once in a while. It's definitely an attractive offer if you're looking to establish credit while taking care of some of the much needed medical expenses. And you get a unique trade line that can help you reestablish and boost your credit. So once again, head over to carecredit.com, read about the specifications and how you can take advantage of this offer and start building your credit. Now, I hope you enjoyed those five primary trade line sources that I've shared with you. Obviously there are others, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you a brief of how to find more, right? How to find more so that you can actually add more trade lines to your credit report. So let's over, uh, head over to google.com and basically we're gonna type in a couple of things, right? So let's assume that we wanna buy furniture. So we're gonna write furniture, and then you add a plus symbol right here, just like that. You're gonna type in your city. So let's say if you're in Durham, North Carolina, with your state, and then finally in parentheses, you're gonna add credit application. And then you're gonna hit enter. And you're gonna have a series, obviously at the beginning of Google, and that's their job, they're gonna give you a series of ads, but we're not gonna look into those ads, we're gonna actually go into other type of different products. So let's say credit application, Kimbrel. So let's look at what this is. So again, you got different types of stores that offer financing to customers. The objective for this and, and doing your research is you wanna compile a list of different vendors that offer some financing, right? This is a very small step towards building other non-essential primaries, like I said. Uh, obviously, it'll direct you to several different results as you see here. You have other different types of companies that offer financing as well. The goal is to research specific merchants' websites. So let's look at, let's say, mattresses and stuff like that. Um, you know, you have different prices and, and, and different products, really. And the objective is to think about some things that you can obtain and how to utilize that at the same time. So integrate it with your credit building effort, obviously. Now, you might be wondering, well, you know, we don't know specifically who Kimbrel is actually reporting to or how they work. Or, for example, any other furniture store or electronic store, whoever the vendors are in your specific city or state. Um, so you don't necessarily need to worry about that because now we're going to go ahead and ask uh, specific questions to the merchant. Right. So our final step is to basically apply, you know, to these type of non-essential primary accounts. Uh, and you should basically ask how and where they report. So the goal is to contact the credit department or at least the store and ask specifically about some of the things that they offer. Ask specifically about who they report to, what is their credit application process, how long it takes, and uh, basically what relationships they have with the, the uh, credit reporting agencies. Once you understand that, note it down and basically play your ball on, on that perspective. So try to figure it out in a way that makes help, uh, you know, makes sense to you and it's helpful towards your credit building objective. And then finally, we're going to finish off uh, by, you know, now applying for primary essential accounts, which are your major institutions, right? Uh, now, let's talk about that on camera. So by this stage, you would have applied for these basic primary trade lines. I hope you got a good list so you can basically go through them and apply to, uh, you know, with them when you're ready to do so. Remember, the first step is always to clean up your credit reports to make sure that it's done well so that they're not hindering your ability or being counterproductive towards your ability to build that credit. So first, clean up the credit report. Second, apply for these type of primaries. These are non-essentials as we discussed. And then basically after a few months of activity, typically three months of good consistent payment activity because you wanna make sure that whoever you're applying with does see that you have a decent payment record with those creditors, which are your non-essential primary trade lines. And then basically you start building up 
your very own essential primaries, which are the major institutions, banks, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff to work on, right? So there's a lot of things that you can do. So I hope this video really helped you get some idea of where to locate your very own primary trade lines. What are some of the basic ones that you can apply for right away, which are very huge and can actually help you improve drastically your credit score and how to apply for essentials after three months of payment history being built positively. So you can start stacking up that credit profile to get the best quality of funding or the best quality type of rates in mortgages or even getting some car funding. So if you like this video, as usual, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed, let's talk, let's have a discussion, leave a comment below on what you like the most about this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching me for a while, consider subscribing and turning that bell icon on. So every time there's a new video like this, you'll be first to be notified. And with that said, this is your guide and mentor, Ali Tarafter, live for now.